What's happening, everybody? Welcome and welcome back. If you've been here before, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Today, we are going to be merging mutable sample project with game animation sample project, all right? So that way, you'll be able to bake characters and use them inside game animation sample project. I want to start off this video by thanking everybody that's been liking and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate everybody. We're almost up to 2,000 subscribers. Amazing. All right. Let's go ahead and the first thing that we're going to want to do is make some changes to the plugins here. So let's go ahead and open the plugin folder and you just want to search for mutable, turn on the groom extensions, the mutable itself and the rig logic for mutable. You definitely want this on because you want this to be able to work with metahumans. If you are using metahumans, if you are not using metahumans, then you probably don't need this but we're going to go ahead and turn it on anyway um, it is optional to turn on mutable population if you wish after this you're going to want to do a restart so we're going to go ahead and do a restart and we'll be right back all right now once you have restarted um, we can go ahead for now and close this project because we're going to need to migrate from mutable to this project so let's go ahead and close this project next you're going to want to open your mutable sample project and we are going to just migrate all of the folders so highlight all of your folders uh, right click and migrate this to wherever you put your game animation sample project um, i actually have mine here so we're just going to go to the content folder and we're just going to select that folder and just migrate everything and let that all go over i'm going to let this finish up and then we will be right back now it may freeze during the migration if it does then what you can do is actually just go in to any of the assets and say show in explorer and then copy these two folders the content and the source folder and just right click copy them and then paste them into your game animation sample project folder um, after it has frozen you can just go in and uh, force it to stop it will have transferred everything normally it freezes up due to this infinite folder which is here all right so this is the folder that normally causes it to freeze so all you want to do is go in and you can just copy the stuff over yourself all right after that we don't need this project anymore all right so then you want to go back into your game animation sample project and i just press play just to verify that it runs and that we're not getting any errors okay now this is up to you how you want to do this what i did was i actually went into the blueprints folder and i went to one of the retargeted actors you can make a copy of the actor if you wish or you can just use the actor i just used the quinn actor so what we're going to do is we're going to open this quinn actor up all right and i'm just going to split the screen because we are going to want to go into our lobby so go ahead and go to your folders and go to the one that says lobby and we're just going to open the lobby up and just give it a second once you have the lobby open what we're going to do is we're going to copy a few things from our uh, base character that is here all right so what you want to do is highlight and copy the head and body uh, skeletal meshes as well as the customizable skeletal components and we are just going to paste them into the other character once we've got that done what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and compile this we want to go to the construction script and we want to copy from the construction script for this character so we're going to open this character actor here and you're going to see that there is i'm going to go ahead and move this to this side and we're going to get the construction script here and we're just going to copy these all right so we're going to copy and we'll just keep that there for now then we got the project animation stuff we don't need any of the other functions all we need to do is copy this we want to go ahead and connect this here now the next thing that we're going to want to do and i'm going to just go ahead and Bring this over larger so we can see is that you want to get this uh, head csk and you want to type update skeletal mesh async like this all right and we're just going to pop that in there and then we want to go ahead i, I put never skip update i don't it does, hasn't made a super difference but that's what i put anyway 
So now we can compile this and then you're going to see the hair pop in. So the next thing we want to do is we need to take the body and the body should follow the head. So what we want to do is put this in the right place. We're going to do negative 88 and then we're just going to do 90 degrees here. Actually negative 90, my bad. And now your character should be set up correctly. And we definitely want this mesh to be underneath mesh hierarchy. And we are going to go ahead and delete this skeletal mesh from Quinn. All right. Once we have that deleted, we're going to go ahead and compile this. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to go to the head mesh and we want to set the animation for this. And we're going to set this to the generic retarget for now. So let's go ahead and set that to the generic retarget and compile that. All right. After we set the head to have the ABP generic retarget, what we want to do is go to the APB generic retargeter here and we want to open this. So once you open the ABP generic retarget blueprint, you're going to see the IK retargeter map section. If it's like this, all you got to do is press this to drop it down. We're going to copy this tag here. And what we want to do is go highlight the head in your character. And you want to type in the word tag here, like I have. And once you have that, you're just going to create a new tag and you're going to go ahead and paste into that tag and you should see your character update right away. There you go. And we're just going to compile that and save it. All right. Now go to your default level underworld settings. We just want to change our base character to our Quinn character. And then you should be able to press play. And there you go. All right. So now you should be able to, uh, make changes to the character and we're going to go ahead and try that real quick all right so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to open up and we can do this even while the character's open we are going to open up the customizable object for this character all right so if we do that let's go here to our instance we're going to type in coi and we got the character instance and we got cyborg so you want to look for this one here that says cyborg and then we can go ahead and move this to the side and we can just put this here and you should see this update instantly when you make changes so we'll go in here and let's see jacket aged uh, mouth size what else do we got in here okay so we got jacket a jacket b we're going to go ahead change our jacket and you should see the jacket highlight immediately same thing if you go in and let's see here we got jeans we could change our jeans to uh sci-fi pants all right so there you go that's it man that's how you set it up that's how you add mutable into game animation sample project now keep in mind that when you cook and package this it is not going to work like this it will only update the character like this in game there's another method that you have to access your uh, customizable object instance and i will show you guys that in a separate video this one is long enough i thank you guys for stopping by be sure to like subscribe share the content and as always i appreciate you stopping by I'll be back with another video, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.